Okay. So polar coordinates, yeah? We need to find this. Oh, okay. So uh, the question does tell you what Z is. It's uh, R e to the i theta and we'll try to find those polar derivatives i would start uh this question with uh, finding dz over dr so what's dz over dr uh the derivative of r is one so this is just e to the i theta and dz over d theta uh, you hold r fixed you differentiate with respect to theta on the first one you hold differentiate with respect to r uh, and if this pen will write uh, i haven't even wrote anything with it yet it's acting weird Oh, it erased my stuff too. Okay, dz over dr is e to the i theta, and dz over d theta, this is what we just wrote a second ago, r. So we hold r fixed, so this becomes e to the i theta, and then uh, derivative of the chain rule, i theta, will just get you i. Okay. Now, uh, keep in mind with what fate, uh, what I'm calling f. Basically, what I'm calling f is f of z, where z is this. Yeah. So, so basically, what I need now so is df over dr. df over dr i could use the chain rule and i could say uh, well f is a function of z so df over dr will be df over dz times dz over dr and i just found out what dz over dr is so this becomes df over dz times e to the i theta okay uh, now I go do the same thing with df over d theta, so I use the chain rule, so this is df over dz times dz over d theta. Uh, I found out what uh, dz over d theta is, it's ri up there, ri e to the i theta. Now, again, I called f f z. What does that mean? It's a complex function. So it's u as a function of r theta. Uh, let me actually write it here. So so f by definition, since it's a complex function, it's some u as a function of r theta plus i v some function of r theta. That's what a complex function is. And so. Uh, partial derivatives will tell me uh, that df over dr from this if I differentiate this will be du over dr plus i dv over dr and likewise for theta df over d theta will equal to du over d theta plus i uh, d v over d theta so uh, that means uh, i already have uh, let's see so if i were to write so if i were to solve this first one here this equation for df over dz so if i were to do that uh, i will get uh, let's see yeah i could solve it for uh, 
df over dz uh, if i divide by e to the i theta i would get uh, 1 over e to the i theta df over dr and uh, this is equal 1 over e to the i theta now df over dr is this guy here so bring this down so this is du over dr plus i dv over dr and i could also with the same exact logic solve this one for df over dz so df over dz let's see what this equals to so here we divide by r i e to the i theta so 1 over r i e to the i theta times uh, du over d theta plus i dv over d theta 1 over r i e to the i theta yeah du uh, and uh, so, okay, I, I kind of did a shortcut here. Uh, I replaced, basically, I am dividing, uh, I get uh, divided by, d so this is times df over d theta. And uh, df over d theta is this guy here. So, I just did it in one step. So, this becomes r i e to the i theta. And then df over d theta is that start there up there so du d theta plus i dv d theta okay um so um let's see so of course those are both df over dz so they have to be equal so if i set them equal to each other i will get let's see what we get uh, if I set them equal to each other, I will get 1 over e i theta into du over dr plus i dv over dr is equal to 1 over r i e to the i theta du d theta plus i dv d theta. Okay, well um uh, we could multiply here get rid of this theta uh, I mean this I and multiply up and down by I so if we do that we will get uh, R e to the I theta and if I multiply by I I will get here uh, I squared will be minus 1 uh, so this will be minus i du over d theta and then if I multiply the second guy by i this is i squared which is minus 1 but I already picked up a minus sign from the from the guy outside from the i outside so this becomes plus dv over d theta okay and so now we're almost there so now we can equate the real and the imaginary parts. Uh, I could uh, cross this this guy out here, 1 over e to the i theta. And I could say that this guy has to equal, uh, this is the real part. Uh, this guy has to equal this guy, but let's not forget the 1 over r that's here Because this will multiply there. So du over dr. This is what I'm looking for uh, Cauchy's equations in uh, polar coordinates 1 over r dv over d theta and I can equate the imaginary part which is this Multiply so this has to equal the imaginary part uh, without the i. The this guy, and again, let's not forget about the one over r. 
so then we get dv over dr to equal minus there's a minus sign here right here uh, minus 1 over r du over d theta so we've actually found those equations in polar coordinates 